My name is Emily Mwangi. I am the administrator here at ATS Learning Group Dangaten. Uh, we, we started off in August 2024. That's when we launched the kindergarten. We have the playgroup, we have the PP1 and PP2. So HS Learn and Grow Kidangaten started off as a STEM center where we are offering coding, arts and robotics for older kids. And seeing the potential that these children had during the boot camps and weekend classes, we thought how about we impact younger age. So we started off the uh, kindergarten where now we'll start the coding and uh, robotics and arts from a younger age. So that was the inspiration behind it. And also seeing that there's a gap in the education system where that the uh, coding or rather the tech is introduced at an earlier stage, you know, like for the STEM. We enrolled kids from five years old, but now for the play group and the kindergarten, we'll be taking kids from 2.5 years. So that is that was the inspiration behind the ATS Learn and Grow Kindergarten. I am aware that uh, the term STEM is not quite known out there. And STEM is science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. So as ATS, we thought about having this, the tech, it's mostly tech, which help in uh, creating the critical thinking and innovative side of children. For example, the arts, children are able to creatively come up with something visual that you can be able to see. That is the arts, the coding. The world is going, it's, uh, we, we're supposed to embrace technology and coding. They, they actually, we start from very basic level where they are taught uh, introduction to computers, game development. That is what we are talking about when we say coding. Robotics, it's more of engineering. You see, uh, right now there are emerging trends in robotics where there's a cafe where you'll be served by a robot. So you're taught to build that, but very basic level. So that is what we are talking about here. So CBC is all about hands-on skills. And it, at ATS Learn and Grow Kindergarten, we have a blend of the CBC and the British curriculum, where it's, when you walk around, you will see most of our activities are hands-on. So when they transit, for example, to grade one, they will have the skills that they need to, uh, to grow, even in their career, later in life. For example, what is CBC all about? Uh, it's, we said it's hands-on and practical skills. That is why when you introduce them to something like robotics, where they, they build something from scratch and it comes to life. So that is basically it. And it will not be hard for them even to transition to the CBC curriculum. One other thing is uh, the blend. I said it's a blend of British and uh, CBC. Our main language of instruction here at ATS Learn and Grow Kindergarten is English. And parents really are into that. Yeah. <laughs> The parents of nowadays, they are young parents. So they want when you go to, you take your kids to where they're supposed to interact with other kids, they can be able to communicate regardless of where does do the, do the kid come from. For example, we've been having even people from outside Kenya. So you want them to be able to even express themselves. By the way, a child who communicates in English, they are very confident. We've seen that and when we do that, will create a, a future of kids who are very confident, even dealing with issues, communicating and expressing themselves. Here at ATS Learn and Grow Kindergarten, the, even the teachers that we have, they are very mothering. So they know how to deal with kids. You know, you'll find kids are very delicate, especially at this age, because we are talking about 2.5 to 6 years. So they are very delicate. So the teachers that we have, they're able to deal with kids. They're very professional. If a kid is going, you know, I mean, a lot is happening. And you, from a kid can observe that from a younger age. So they would need, when they go to school, it feels like home. Or, I mean, by 
what their teacher is uh, engaging them in, how they talk to them. They are very friendly. So even when they live here and they go back to their homes, they feel like they were at home. And by the way, the kids that usually come here, they always want to stay here. They don't want to leave. Yeah, so that shows that the teachers and the staff that we have here are very child friendly and even the environment as you can see. Yeah. Where your child goes to school or the environment that they are in is very important. ATS is located in Naka. Very quiet. It's and it's easily accessible to everyone. And the er environment where we are at, for example, we have a place where kids can play, and they playing instruments or equipment. They are very instrumental. For example, we have a CISO. A CISO is something that you learn in class. I don't know in which grade, but that is something that you learn in school. So the environment is very important. You don't want to take your kid to where there's a lot of noise, a lot is, is going on. So. ATS is the best place. We are open to kids from Nakuru. For as long as you're in Nakuru and you can bring your kid, you're welcome because we are in Naka, next to Fancy Gator Apartments, off to Naka Primary Road. So where we are, it's very accessible to anyone coming from Pipeline, anyone coming from Joro. You can easily get to where we are, yeah. As I said earlier, it has started off as a STEM center. That has not stopped. It's still happening. We have weekend classes and we have holiday boot camps. We have a holiday boot camp that is coming up from 11th of November to 29th of November. It's a three weeks boot camp where we'll be teaching uh, coding, robotics, arts, and science. Uh, it's a lineup of activities and sometimes we do modeling. Uh, we also do chess game, so it's not all learn, you know, so there are some fun activities in there. So if you have a child who is five years and above, they are most welcome. I know this is a skill that you will rarely find it. If there is a place that you can, uh, your kid can ha get this skill, is here at ATS Learn and Grow. Yeah. You said from five years up to? From five years up to 13 years. Yeah, those are the kids that we are hosting for the STEM center, but for the... Uh, kindergarten is 2.5 to 6. Wow. Yeah. From 11th November to 29th of November 2024 yeah. this year. Yeah. Wow. So our classes usually start from 8.30 to 12.30, Monday to Friday. And we provide snacks during the boot camp and also during the holiday. Wow. Yeah. What and the charges are very friendly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we started off uh, in April where we had our first boot camp. We had 30 learners from that very first boot camp. And the response is very positive because the kids that we had uh, in April, they also came uh, in August and also we have them coming for the weekend classes. So the parents are very appreciative of what we are doing and what their kids are able to learn. You see, as I said, it's not all about learning, you know, kids come here, you know, for example, a kid who is five years old, they only know so little, but once they engage into our activities, you get parents calling me, Emily, I have observed that my kid is changing, even how they interact with kids, the two things that they are doing, you know, like uh, initially they would be given laptops or uh, their fo the parents' phone and they would just play. But uh, the kids who have come for the boot camp, once they get a laptop, they want to develop their gift because they, they know how to do it. Yeah. Uh, we have a uh, registration for the January intake. It is ongoing. You can actually go to our website. It's africatechspace.com. Or you can also give us a call. Uh, you can call me via 0715-116699. Once you give me a call, or you can actually visit us. You know, it would be better for a parent to visit and see the facility, how it is before you enroll your kids. So we are in Naka, next to Fancy Gateway Apartments. The registration are ongoing. If you call me or when you visit our website, you'll see the registration link where you can register. My final word would be parents out there. Eight years learn and grow is the place for your kid. There is no other place. You see, uh, besides besides uh, the STEM, which is coding, arts and robotics, we also want to cultivate the, uh, the culture of reading where we'll have a book club here at ATS. And also the entrepreneurial spirit for these kids. I mean, 
if I was introduced to entrepreneurship when I was five, I'll be very far. So parents, this is the place for your kids.